Good morning. Today is February the 4th, 2023. Just in case it needs to be said, <laughs> I offer uh, opinion pieces um, when I go on a rant on something that is irking me or that is, um, that isn't. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know how else to put it. But that's all that it is. I, I, I have a lot of time on my hands and a lot on my mind and then I'm scrolling on my phone and then all of a sudden something will jump out at me and then I have something to talk about. <laughs> so that's just, that's just me. Um, it's just my opinion. If I had a philosophy, it would have to be libertarian, not in the madcap uh, capitalism unhinged, more in the you do you, I do me, and let me do me, and let's get along. Like, as long as what you're doing isn't necessarily interfering with what I'm doing, it's all good. You can believe in whatever you want, as long as it doesn't <laughs> affect me, I'm good to go. Today, what's irking me is the flat earth phenomenon. Coupled really closely with the uh, anti-space, uh, NASA didn't land on the moon element of it. For whatever reason, these people exist. Um, I personally believe that they are just strictly contrarians. And that's, that is their raison d'etre. That is why they exist. To Stick it to the man. <laughs> I, I choose to believe that the earth is flat, therefore you're a creep or you're lying when you say that you live on a ball earth. Well, what set me off today <laughs> is I was watching a flat earth, actually a reaction to a flat earth channel, where um, this flat earther, the way she interprets anyone criticizing her belief system that the earth is flat is that all they want to do is shame and name call as she goes on tirades of name calling. Most flat, uh, most, most uh, physicists that I know who challenge the flat earth, because I'm not a physicist, I'm just a guy, but I know I, I, know I live on a, a round ball. I know it's rotates, I know where the sun and the moon, I know what causes day and night, and I know what causes the seasons, and that all makes sense. In fact, I even understand why we have weather and why we're even having a cold spell right now. It has everything to do with the fact that I live on a globe that is spinning and that is rotating. Enough said. This flat earther banging on about um, all they want to do is shame me, and all I want to do is have a discussion. Right, I know what you want. You want to discuss nonsense, okay? Like that, that, that's fine. Some people will engage in nonsensical um, to and fro. Me, on occasion, sure. I, I, I might be um, uh, lured down said rabbit hole, but not too much. I'm sorry. Like at times, sure. Like it could, it, it but. If you know me, if you've seen my channel, you know that I start very um, in engaging with people who are of this ilk, the Flat Earth Society, as it were. I very soon become very sarcastic and a tad belittling. I try not to, and I don't do it to belittle them. I belittle, I'm actually belittling their philosophy, the, the silliness of their philosophy. Like, again, to me, it, it's in tandem. If you believe in the flat earth, which again, it's, it's ridiculous. I, I, don't, I don't need to in my two cents. I don't need to explain to you what they believe because it's sort of all over the place. But in short, from what I get, is they believe that the earth is standing on some kind of platform, pillars maybe? I know they said so in the good book, so I think that that's an element of it comes from there. And that there's an ice wall surrounding this disk of the flat earth. And there you go. 
that to me that's how they and then of course they have these out, outrageously complicated and bizarre <laughs> um uh sun has flashlights and in the skies it, it, it's another topic altogether like again i i don't need to um disprove their theory i can just look outside yes it looks flat but it isn't it's a very the the world is a big place what looks flat to me is because i see a very tiny part of this big world that we're in right all you have to do is try to fly from uh, uh I, I don't even think you can but you might from toronto to uh sydney I'm sure there's a couple of layovers that you need to go and then you need to book a day almost to get there. I mean, it is what it is. Come on. Like, I mean, it is far. Oh, the world's a big place. And uh, I just was amused with this, um, uh, um, what do you call her? Um, this uh, content creator who was, she was very, her name, by the way, is the queens or queens i i don't know like i i don't mind saying her name it's just a, a, a an interesting little um angry little maybe she's not so little but she's a, certainly an angry woman i'll give her that like she's very angry and she really needs to have her um opinion out there and she needs this engagement for whatever reason she needs to know that she's right and she needs to I, she needs to put people in their place, i.e., how, how could you be so foolish to believe in physics? I mean, to me, that's what it comes down to. It's, it's strict physics. I mean, sorry. Yeah, you can call it the ball earth, but there's more to it than that. But that's okay. Like, uh, if you want to talk about one versus the other, there, you, that's a point. You actually can't talk about one versus the other because they're... One's nonsensical and one's physics. I mean, sorry, there you go. Anyways, a uh, bit of a shorter one today, I'm sorry. I'm uh, uh, really feeling it today, this cold snap. Yeah, I live in a warm house, <laughs> but uh, for some reason, it, it's, it's really affecting my um, uh, condition today. I apologize for that, um, but I just, you know me, I like to at least pump out something once a day to keep my brain, um, uh, what do you call that, exercised, you know, formulating some thoughts on Flat Earth. I don't know why it's Flat Earth today, but it is. And now I threw it at you. It is what it is. Anyways, that's what's going on behind the patch this morning. I will talk to you guys later. You guys have a good rest of the day.